Welcome to the Snow Park series by Angela Harney. Session number three, Create a Scala Project. Watch all videos in this series in order to complete an entire solution for Snow Park. Angela Harney is a data engineer with extensive years of experience and is certified in Snowflake. We will be covering software and application folders, creating a basic Scala project, and understanding the Scala classes and creating a Scala method. The videos in this series are intended for you to be able to pause the video and follow the steps on each slide in detail. To start out creating your Scala project, create a folder with your project name. You will be creating a Metals Scala project that will establish initial directories in your project folder. It's a good idea to learn how to use Scala on a small project in VS Code by creating a starter project from a template. We will use the Scala Hello World template. You want to create your project folder first, then do an open folder from VS Code. This means that all code necessary to run that application will reside in that project folder. Using a workspace in VS Code, We'll store global settings for all projects, but then projects are incomplete if copied separately. When you enter the name of your application, do not type in the path. Create your project to match the name of your folder. When creating or debugging your applications, be sure to look at the lower left as well as prompts that may appear at the lower right. You will also want to be aware of the status bar in the lower left or right, they are all designed to help guide you through what is needed to work in your project. For example, you may see a prompt in the lower right that you are not logged in to AWS. When you run the build for the first time, a build.spt file will be created. You will want to make sure the version of Scala in this file is correct, as well as check that the project name is what you expect. After making changes to this file, when it is saved, you will be prompted to import changes. If you are not prompted to import changes or import build, you will want to check the status bar at the bottom for any issues. You will also want to check view problems from the menu and look down at the problems window for any issues. Check the view output window for any issues. Check the view debug console window for any issues. If there are no issues, then press Control shift p and select Metals Import Build from the list. Press Enter, and this will manually kick off a build. You can also then press Control shift p search on Metals Restart Server, and press Enter to restart the server. This is equivalent to closing and reopening VS Code, which will also restart Metals on open of a new project. When you run the build for the first time, a build.spt file will be created. You will want to make sure that the version of Scala in this file is correct, as well as check that the project name is what you expect. After making changes to this file, when it is saved, you will be prompted to import changes. If you are not prompted to import changes or import build, then check the status bar at the bottom for any issues. You can check for issues in several other places as well. From the menu, click View Problems window and check for issues there. Click View Output window or View Debug Console window to also look for issues. If there are no issues listed, you can manually restart the build and manually restart the server by pressing Control shift p searching on Metals Import Build and pressing Enter, then searching on Metals Restart Server and pressing Enter. This is equivalent to closing and reopening VS Code because VS Code restarts the Metals server on open of every project. It is a good idea to review the folders that got created for your project. You can expand the File Explorer in VS Code at the left panel then edit and review the contents of the different files. It is recommended that you review the files in the .bloop folder. The main class in Scala is an object. An object in Scala has exactly one instance. By default, it is created with lazy evaluation. More on this later 
in the data frame video in this series. Lazy Evaluation allows a Scala class to be a candidate for a Snowpark object, such as a user-defined function. The main class in Scala can also be a method nested within an object. More on this later in this series as well. Once you have your Hello World message running, you can add more Scala code to your main object. The method shown here is called calories. It takes in two parameters, one called carbs and one called miles. The colon is an assignment operator to a data type for the parameters. After the parentheses is an assignment operator to a data type for the method. In this case, it will output a float. The method is equal to the code block. Its action divides the parameters and returns the variable value. Using val rather than var to declare a variable means that the variable will not be getting its value changed. This allows Scala to optimize the memory for the value. Scala calls this a pure variable. Snowpark counts on Scala to provide pure objects that use only pure variables.